The Toyota Camry was completely redesigned for 2013, but only two years later, it's gone under the knife once again with a substantial update. That's unusual, and I got a chance to drive it during the press launch on the Big Island of Hawaii to see how new and improved it is. The biggest changes are on the outside, where all body panels are new except for the roof. Like most Toyota and Lexus cars, the desire to create a more premium and athletic appearance apparently equates to a giant grill up front. It has a gloss black mesh finish in the SE trims and five gray bars on the other trims. Inside, the general look is similar, but the materials have been upgraded to bring the Camry closer to the higher quality cabins offered by its competitors. There are more soft touch surfaces, nicer plastics, and more substantial switchgear. The climate controls in particular are easier to decipher and use. The Entune touchscreen interface is the same user-friendly unit found in the new Toyota Highlander, and the gauges have also been updated with a classier design and an available color display. Passenger and trunk space are unchanged, which is just fine since the Camry was already one of the most spacious family sedans. The revised Camry isn't just better looking and nicer to sit in. During my drive on Hawaii, the Camry's stiffer structure and subsequent suspension changes created a more buttoned-down and responsive driving experience, especially in the sportier SE trip. Now, are any of them truly engaging to drive like a Mazda 6 or Ford Fusion? No, but they do inspire more confidence now, and in general, are indeed better to drive than before. Now, speaking of the SE, this very popular trim level has been joined by the X SE trim that offers the same styling and even sharper suspension tuning, but augments it with higher-end equipment previously only available on the more luxurious XLE. Essentially, you no longer have to decide between sharper driving dynamics and more creature comforts. The engines? have not changed. There's a 178 horsepower four-cylinder good for 28 miles per gallon combined and a 268 horsepower V6 good for 25 combined, both of which are competitive for the class. The hybrid powertrain, on the other hand, is also unchanged and still doesn't come close to its competitor's fuel economy. Besides the availability of some advanced exit and avoidance tech, there's nothing substantially new on the features list, although the new LE base model has more equipment than the old base L model did. It does cost $545 more, but the other trims only go up by about $100. The 2015 Toyota Camry is already on sale, but stay tuned for a complete review once we get one here on the mainland and let us know what you think about it.